half inch rescue rope, when we talk about knots, we're really talking about knots, bends, and hitches. A knot is tied in the rope itself. A bend is where I tie two ropes together or bend two ropes together. And a hitch is when I tie the rope around an object such that the object is integral to the integrity of the hitch. So in other words, if I remove the object, then the hitch falls apart, like a Prusik hitch or a Munter hitch. So, knots, bends, and hitches, and then a little bit of terminology. We take our half-inch rescue rope or our life safety rope. If I fold it over with a bite like this, this is called a bite. This is a loop, and this is a round turn. Whenever I tie a knot in the rope, like for example, a simple overhand, this is often referred to as a stopper knot. It prevents you from rappelling off the end of the rope. It keeps the rope from coming out of a rope bag. Simple overhand knot. If I tie one more twist around, instead of coming in this way, I come around this way and I get a characteristic eight shape. This is a simple figure eight, also commonly used as a stopper knot. The figure eight is in what we call the family of eights. So there's a figure eight, figure eight and a bite, figure eight follow through. There's a whole bunch of figure eights and we'll go over those. If we're gonna tie a figure eight on a bite, I'm going to form a, a bite. I need about a 24 inch bite, roughly. So I'm going to take this bite and I'm going to come around and over and I bring the bite down in and pull it tight. Okay, so now when I look at the figure eight on a bite. This is the end and end of the rope connection knot. I can clip it to an anchor point. I could clip it to a harness. It's a way for me to attach this rope to something. Uh, whether it's an anchor for a fixed line to rappel on, it's just one possibility. But this is a really bread and butter knot. For a figure eight follow through, which we tie to a harness or around an object that we can't just clip to, we want to eliminate a carabiner. I'm going to pull up about half a wingspan. And then I'm going to bring this bite and make two twists, like so. And I'm going to So I have about this much tail. I'm going to pass this down through my object and then I'm going to follow this guy all the way around. Wherever it goes, I'm going to go. So I'm coming around here and I'm coming around here and I'm coming down in. Okay, so this needs some dressing now. Okay, so you see I have quite a bit of tail left here. So for a figure eight follow through, since it's a tie-in knot, just to eliminate the possibility that we might have done it wrong, I'm going to follow it up with a double overhand. Keeper. This just rules out any chance that 
I might have tied into that incorrectly. Figure eight follow through.